Welcome. Please pause this video and try it on your own. Let's start by reading the problem together. It tells us that the table below shows a number of grams of carbohydrates, x, so x is our carbohydrates right here, that's our independent variable, and the number of calories, y, of six different foods. Notice you want to always look to see if there's any kind of pattern here. And I notice that here they've kind of uh, mixed the numbers up. In other words, carbohydrates uh, x it increases here by 1.5, it increases here by 0.5, it decreases here by 4, it increases here by 1, it decreases here by 3. So they're jumping these numbers all over the place. So here we just want to pay attention to that because we shouldn't expect a constant jump here and y, right? In other words, if this goes up by 18, it would be unreasonable to expect this to go up or down by the same amount, right? Here, notice it goes up by 18, then it goes up again by 9, then it's going to drop down, because here it dropped down as well, right? If you read this, I'll, I'll write over it. So when we went up by 1.5, over here we went up by 18. We went up by 0.5 um, between these two numbers here, sorry, between these two numbers here, so we went up by, um, excusing myself, these two numbers here, we went up by 9 here as well. And then here we went down by 4, so here we are going to go down as well. We go down by, what is that, 12 and 47, down by 59. Here we're going to go up by 1. Here we're going to go up by 12 plus 8, up by 20. And here we're going to go down by 3, right? And then we're going to go down as well here by what? That's 8 to 100, and then another 38 is down by 46. So here, we're looking for uh, the equation that best represents the line and best fit for this set of data. So, so what do we do? Although I wouldn't usually say this, I feel like the fastest way to deal with this problem is actually use the graphing calculator. So how do we get a line of best fit in the graphing calculator? Well, one, one of the key uh, components of entering a list of data into your calculator is on the stat button right here. So here we want to edit or create a list. So here's, you know, L1, L2, these are different lists. If you have data on there, scroll to the top, hit clear, and then enter and it will clear your list. So here I'm going to clear both of my list. Um, and then I'm going to just enter these numbers in. We have 8, right, and then 9.5, 10, 6, 7, and 4. And then on our second list, we have 120, we have 138, we have 147, we have 88, 108, and 62. So now you, there's something else to do. This is saved automatically. If we hit second list, you can see that um, you can pull up your list whenever you want for operations. We can sort these lists, do all kinds of things. There's all kinds of calculations we can do, find the mean, median mode of a list. So if you're ever doing that, no problem, you can. So where do we find the linear regression on the calculator? If we press stat and go to calc, you'll see a choice four is called linear regression. That's a method of finding a line of best fit and the one that we're going to use here. Notice the form is ax plus b. b is your y-intercept, and in this case, a is your slope. So we pick that, choice four, hit enter, and now I have to tell the calculator which list to use. And if you notice, above the button one in blue, or whatever color it is on your calculator, and above the button 2, uh, you'll see list 1 and list 2. So we hit second, 1 for list 1, and then comma, second, list 2. Now, we can use different lists if we want. Uh, we just happen to enter x into L1 and y into L2. So um, we're going to pull those up as x and y in that order. And here, if we hit enter, we get everything we need. The slope is 14.1, about, and the y intercept is about 5.83, which is choice 4 right here. So again, I feel like this is one of those rare cases where the calculator can really help you.